Hey everybody, it's Lon Seidman, and we are back with our monthly sponsored video from Plex, and we're taking a look at a brand new feature that they just launched, uh, which is bringing over 80 different live streaming channels to your Plex devices. These are free, they don't require a Plex pass, and this is going to work differently than the live TV you'll bring over through an antenna that we covered a few months ago. So we're going to be digging into this new feature and seeing what's available on it and how you can customize it here in just a second. But I do want to let you know in the interest of full disclosure that this is a paid sponsorship from Plex. However, they are not reviewing or approving what you're about to see before it was uploaded and all the opinions you're about to hear are my own. So let's get into it now and see what this new feature is all about. Now, before we go too much further into this, it's important to differentiate what the new live TV feature is versus the one we've talked about here in the past called Live TV and DVR. Uh, the older feature here uh, involves using a tuner that's plugged into your local Plex server. Uh, this feature has largely been available to Plex Pass users and it allows you to bring in your local TV content over the air or through cable with an HD Home Run Prime box and get that content into your Plex server for recording, for watching locally, and for streaming back out to yourself. The new feature with the same name is coming in from the Plex streaming servers for free, and this doesn't require a Plex pass, and it's also not going to give you networks that you've necessarily heard about before. A lot of these are the kinds of networks that we see streaming to some of those other services that are out there. But there's some good stuff here. You get the Law and Crime Network for trial coverage of different court cases happening throughout the country. You've got Reuters News. You have Yahoo Finance. Some good stuff that you can just kind of leave on and let stream throughout the day. But it's different content than what you would get over the air. So these two features will coexist. One is not replacing the other. And again, this one is completely free. So as long as you've got Plex on your device, you can watch it irrespective of whether or not you have a Plex Pass account. And they recently uh, removed the requirement to have an account at all. So if you just download Plex or go to the website, you can start watching without an account at all. And it's a lot of good stuff that you can just tune into and watch whenever you want. Now, just like the on-demand free movies and TV shows they started offering a few months ago, uh, this is available worldwide. The number of channels you get and which channels you get will vary based on your location, but they are really trying to make this available to Plex users no matter where they are in the world. Uh, right now in the U.S., we've got about 80 or so channels with more on the way. But again, your experience will vary based on your location. The interface is super simple on this. It is a channel guide. Uh, you can see what is currently on the air. Uh, right now, it just became 430, so we'll probably see this thing shuffle over a little bit as we're going through stuff. But if I want to see what's on the Law and Crime Network right now, I can see that the afternoon session show is on. I can select that channel, and it will tune into it. Uh, the stream comes up very quickly at a low resolution, and then the high def quality will kick in a little bit later. So it takes about 15 or 20 seconds or so for that quality level to improve. And there you go. It looks like it just came in. Now, if I back out of the show, it will keep playing in a little window here as I browse to see what else might be on uh, TV. And if I want to watch something else, I can find uh, maybe something on the Dove Network here. I could tune to that. And that will, again, bring up the next show, and I can keep watching the free live TV as things go here. Now, you do have the ability to customize this as well. So if you don't like a channel or don't want to see certain channels, you can uh, go in and change the order of things or remove them completely. So if we go up to those little periods up there and go to Manage Channels, uh, I can adjust the order of things. So for example, if I want the Bob Ross channel to be front and center all the time, I can go and just move my cursor to this arrow here, push the button, and move it up to the top. Uh, this will follow your Plex account, so if you log in on a different device, this order will be there for the other device as well. I can move Yahoo Finance up there so I can get all my favorite channels up top. And then if there's something I don't want to see, maybe um, America's Funniest Videos in Spanish is not something that I'll watch frequently, I can just go here and disable that and it will no longer show up on my channel guide. I can always bring it back by jumping back into this menu if I want, but it's a good way to kind of get everything customized to your particular preferences. Now you also have the option, which is on by default, to show the most recent channels in the guide at the top. 
Um, so what that will do, if I back out here, uh, is it will always have the last three channels tuned right up top. I could disable that feature if I want, but this might be something to leave in place, especially if you're always going to the Law and Crime Network every time you boot up your device here. And you can also see now that the Bob Ross Show and uh, Yahoo Finance now are at the top of my channel list. And again, I could spend some more time whittling this down to exactly what I want. And this feature should be available across all of the devices that Plex supports. So I've got my iPhone here. Uh, if we jump over to my screen, you can see that the Bob Ross channel and the Yahoo Finance channel are at the top based on how we set things up earlier. I could go into the configuration here on the phone and change that for my account. So I can go to manage channels and then I could move perhaps the Bob Ross channel here below the Yahoo Finance channel and I could turn off uh, tune goggles and uh, just again make some adjustments and it might be easier to make these adjustments on mobile versus your TV device and whatever you do on the phone will follow you back to your television device there. Now all of this content is live um, so you don't have any DVR functionality. Uh, there's no way to pause live TV while it's on. Uh, so whatever is live is live and after it is not live it's no longer viewable so just bear that in mind uh, you can though browse ahead so you can see what's coming up you got full descriptions as to what is coming up on that channel and if the text is running beyond what this window has for room you can select the show and dive in and read more and get the full description. So it works a lot like other Plex content. The interface, of course, is very familiar because it's running within Plex. So it all should make a lot of sense to folks. And it's just another little added value feature that you get uh, as part of the entire Plex package. So in addition to that new live TV service, you've got a lot of other stuff that they've been offering for free that you can play around with as well. That includes the movies and TV section. They've got a lot of great content on here advertiser supported, no cost. They have a bunch of exclusives that they get from time to time as well. Uh, there's web shows, which includes this show. Uh, you can actually find me right there. And what's cool about this is that if you subscribe to a web show, it will always put things in front of you from your favorite creators. There's no algorithm deciding whether or not you want to see that particular show. So I thought that's kind of nice. Uh, especially because the algorithm doesn't always show you what I'm doing on this channel on YouTube. Uh, they have a great news section which will mix uh, national and international news with your local television affiliates. It's a really cool service and you can customize things on there. You can have Plex manage your podcasts as well and you can also integrate Plex with the Tidal music service and we've done some content where you can see how you can mix Tidal streaming content with things that you're storing on your own Plex server. And all of this free stuff is a really good entry point to the Plex ecosystem because this stuff is free forever. There's no pressure to go and get a Plex pass or anything. And you don't even need to install a Plex server. You can get a feel for the interface. You can start integrating your media. And then when you're ready, you install the Plex server and you start playing around with that. And there's a lot you can do with a Plex server without having to pay for the Plex pass either. And once you really get into things and decide you want more, that's when maybe you consider the Plex Pass. But there's really a lot of value here on Plex that you can do for free. And I like that they're trying to do more with these live services because it's nice to have something that you can just tune to to see, hey, maybe there's something worth watching today or maybe I just want to leave something on for the kids for a little while. You've got all that right here integrated into a single app. That is going to do it for this look at Plex Live TV. Let me know what you thought down in the comments below. And until next time, this is Lon Seidman. Thanks for watching. This channel is brought to you by the Lon.TV supporters, including Gold Level supporters Tom Albrecht, Chris Allegretta, David Hockman, Brian Parker, Mike Patterson, and Bill Pomerantz. If you want to help the channel, you can by contributing as little as a dollar a month. Head over to lon.tv slash support to learn more.
And don't forget to subscribe. Visit lon.tv slash s.